Hi, this is a variation of the humming bee breath. I really like this practice for the very quick calming effects that this can have. This also impacts the social engagement nervous system. It can support somebody to come out of that hypo response place and also the hyper aroused place. I thought we could just go straight into a practice just so you can see what I'm getting at when I explain it a little bit more. And then we will go on to refine the breath after that. So the humming bee breath essentially is when we breathe in normally through the nose and breathe out a hum with the mouth closed. A little bit like this and you can join me for three grounding humming breaths. Breathing in through the nose as you lengthen up through the spine. And breathing out a hum. Mm -hmm. All the way through to the end as you allow gravity to magnetize you to the ground. Inhaling through the nose as you lengthen through the spine. And exhaling a hum as you allow gravity to weigh you down. Mm -hmm. One more. This time with the difference, we breathe in normally through the nose, at the top of the in-breath puff out the cheeks like a puffer fish, and then hum with puffed out cheeks. And again inhale. Maybe place a hand on the belly as you do this. Mm. One more. Mm. and just notice. So I'll talk a little bit about that breath and then we'll go on to refine it. So the social engagement part of the nervous system, also known as ventral vagal state, is the part of the nervous system when we are calm, when we are in our in state where we can engage with other people, reach out for help and take in help. It's also a mobilised part of the um, social engagement nervous system. And that mobilised part is when we want to socially engage with others or do a task that we're quite excited about doing or we know that needs doing, but we can do it in that calm and reasoned state but we also access that mobilised part of the nervous system to do that but without becoming overwhelmed. When we do get overwhelmed and stressed and tense, when there's just a lot of pressure on our shoulders, we've got a lot of worry, we're thinking about things, what can happen is our muscles on our face, which is our social engagement muscles, start to tense up. We might frown, we might hold our lips in a very pursed place. We might bite down on our teeth, we might grind our teeth. So the jaw becomes locked, the muscles become tense and there's a tightness within the face. So puffing the cheeks out works to expand the cheeks. It's a lovely stretch for the cheeks. We often do this quite naturally when we're really really stressed and maybe we found ourselves just kind of holding our breath or thinking about something or just habitually carrying tension we might find ourselves sort of doing so the body knows what to do to release stress so what we're doing is we're harnessing what the body already knows that innate wisdom within the body also, when we're in that more hypo, shut down kind of place where our muscles in the face become very flaccid and weak. We might, everything drops. 
as we numb out, shut down, we might go into a spacey, starey, quiet state. This is another way of engaging the social engagement muscles to bring some life into the face, to bring some engagement in. We're stretching, we're expanding the face. So it's a really lovely exercise to do to engage these muscles of the face and to create more expansion. The blood will then be flowing into the face a bit more and it helps to release the jaw, it helps to um, bring more life into the eyes, soften the muscles around the eyes and it and the vibration of this will just move through the face and the body. So the humming part of this is a little bit different actually to the humming breath. So with the humming breath we, we're just focusing on the humming out but with this breath we puff out the cheeks and as we hum out we want to make an O sound with the vocal cords. So this is deeply engaging the vagus nerve that runs into the vocal cords in quite a different way to the humming bee breath. So when we do the O with our vocal cords, the mouth will naturally want to do like an, an O, so the cheeks will naturally want to come in. So it does take a little bit of practice. So you can just play with this and you might notice your cheeks changing shape, just puff them out and continue setting the intention to make an O sound. Okay, so let's do this together. We'll do five of these breaths. So breathing in normally through the nose as you lengthen through the spine. Mm. Push your hand on your belly so you can take a nice belly breath in as you lengthen up through the spine. Try to keep that sense of lengthening. We'll do one more, really leaning into the vibrations, just allowing them to ripple through your body. Mm. Pause and notice. Notice sensations, temperature, parts of the body where you're feeling the response. Now let's send the next three breaths into a part of the body that really needs the vibration, like the heart, the guts, some painful area or an area that you send to numb out to. Taking a breath in, lengthen through the spine and open the heart, hand on the belly. Mm. Also notice. And let's send the last three into the feet for some grounding to finish. Don't forget the O sound. So as you're breathing out, 
keep trying to shape your vocal cords to say the sound O. Oh. Okay, so connecting with the bass, and as we breathe in, take the breath to lengthen through the spine. Nice long neck at the back. and notice. So use that breath any time you need to settle your nervous system, any time when your thoughts are running havoc, overthinking, over worrying, or whether you're just feeling jittery within your body. Enjoy.